All right, so we're gonna do our capacity test today. We have our stock battery that is currently installed. We're gonna do that one first. Um, I turn the battery on here, you'll see the watt meter that we have installed in line with the battery uh, and the controller. We currently have zero amps, zero watt hours. Our battery voltage is 41.99. So there's our battery voltage up at the upper le uh, upper right corner. 40, 42 volts, just about exactly. So fully charged stock Saunders battery, we'll test it first. All right. And again, thanks to uh, Rick uh, Hegdahl for letting us uh, use his Saunders bike. I'll be following along in my electric bike, and we'll uh, we'll see what uh, how far we can go. All right. All right. Won't be doing that for a while. There's a lot of downhill. Let's take a left here. Goes through the neighborhood. Yeah, if you want to follow me, at least for this part. Take this next left. It's a little bit of an uphill, but not bad. traffic. What's that? Yeah. Looks like the uh, path is a little wider on the other side. But A good spot here, huh? All right, so we're doing a quick spot check on the battery voltage. Um, we think we've gone about uh, uh, three or four miles, and let's see if we can get a good reading. There we go. Okay, so 1.8 amp hours so far. Uh, 598 watts peak, 39.83 volts currently, so we're still well above uh, nominal voltage. <laughs> 37 volts, so we're pretty close to nominal. And 4.25, 4.22 amp hours. What's this rated at? Eight? This this one's 8.8. .8. Okay. 
So we're about halfway there. 4.225. Yeah. calling this one empty. Uh, 32.5 volts, 8.272 amp hours. That's our critical number, 8.272. And voltage is 32.6. So it's 32 volts is uh, going to be your basically your, your your zero voltage, your 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 uh, zero state of charge. Um, at least uh, based on on this particular battery. So, all right, so there we go. There's the stock. That's our stock battery. So now we're going to swap out and put in the, um, the aftermarket high capacity battery. Hi, this is Rick Hegdahl, standing in for Barrent. I am preparing to take off on a range test with the new KNA Motorsports extended range battery. Uh, I'm going to take the same route that we took a couple days ago with the, with the stock battery. So I'm just recording uh, what's going on right now. 41.9 volts and all the amp hours are all zeroed out. No usage yet. So my trek is from the east side of Lake Sammamish, which is, I'm sorry, the west side of Lake Sammamish, which is east of Seattle, about 10 miles, and I'm starting about in the about the center of the west shore of Lake Sammamish, and I'll be heading south around the lake, up East Lake Sammamish, into Redmond, and then back home, and hopefully. You know, if I'm lucky, I might get, you know, the whole range with one battery, and I think it's uh, 24 miles all the way around it. So we'll find out. I have my stock battery with me, so I'm not going to get stranded, and we'll see how things go. Good luck to me. So I just arrived, battery just died in the middle of Marymore Park and I am now recording the data from the uh, upgraded extended range battery. So 32.7 volts, it died. 
11.8 amp hours so that looks like the critical number 11.8 amp hours so that's it